five, four, three. Shut up, kids! What is going on out there? So much noise! Let's do it, let's, let's, let's do it. Let's do it, let's, let's, let's do it. Let's do it, let's, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's Hi, everyone. I'm Robert Rivera, and this is on the cheap tip. So, this week, I actually uh, got really burned really badly by pizza. <laughs> because my ass can't wait to eat pizza, so I have to eat it straight out the oven because I'm so hungry and I'm such a fat boy that I just got to eat it. And what happened was, I bit into the pizza, the cheese fell off and slapped me in the face. And then burnt my whole lip from here to here. And it was really bad this whole week. And I was trying to do all natural remedies to make it better. And I think I did. So, that gave me an idea. Hello, let's bring it to the on the cheap tip. I sounded Italian there. I don't know what that was about. I don't know so, I just did that. I'm just fucking crazy tonight. <laughs> Today, I'm going to do something and I don't know what it's going to be. <laughs> Because I'm just talking about my butt. So I'm going to show you how to treat your minor burns using natural remedies at home. So let's get started. Dur, 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 ho down. So the first tip that I have for you is actually recommended by medical professionals. And that is to place your burn under running water. So I'm talking like a faucet, a shower, a hose, anything that's accessible to you. And you're going to do this for no less than 20 minutes. I know that sounds like a lot, but that is actually the recommended time, no less than 20 minutes. And the reason we're going to place it under running water is because the running water is going to clean out the burn. It's going to clean all of the debris and dirt and bacteria that may be on the burn. And it's also going to help increase any of the blood flow to that area, which is going to reduce tissue damage as well as uh, reduce scarring and your healing time altogether. And the most important thing that the running cool water is going to do is it's going to reduce the temperature, which is going to reduce the pain. And that's what we all want. We don't want it to be in pain. We want to be like, okay, so running water, cool running water, not ice, no ice at all, because ice is actually going to make it blister and worsen the burn. So after you're done rinsing your burn with water for 20 minutes, you're going to want to treat it with something that's going to protect, soothe, and moisturize your burn. Now this is where people initially go for burn ointments and even in some cases butter. But actually oil and fat-based products are going to feed into the temperature of the burn and increase the pain. So these products are not good for initial use. Maybe down the line as your burn is healing, but not right away. The the product I do recommend you get for initially treating your burn is honey. Honey is the miracle of all miracle foods. It's great for everything, especially burns. Now what honey does is it's going to reduce the pain because it contains anti-inflammatory properties. It also has antibacterial properties, which is going to reduce any infection that you may have on your burn. It also has antioxidants, which are going to help heal the skin over time, and it's also going to moisturize and protect the skin from the earth's environment. To use the honey, all you're going to do is just take a little bit of it and apply it gently to your burn. Another really great thing for burns is pure aloe, and you can get it in a bottle or you can get it in a plant, like al the aloe plant. Say hi to him. Hi. Oh, I got dirt on me. Gross is really great for your burns because it's going to help relieve your pain because the special enzymes are going to reduce any inflammation in the burn area. And it's also going to help increase the blood flow to the damaged tissue area, which is going to help with your healing process. And just like honey, it is an antibacterial, so it's going to help keep the area clean and free of infection. It also prevents scarring and blistering. So what you're going to do is take your aloe. If you have it in a bottle, you're just going to to apply it like you normally would. And if you have it in a plant form, all you're going to do is cut off one of these leaves, slice it right down the middle with a knife, and use half of the leaf and place it onto your burn and make sure it's nice and secure and you will start to feel less pain and better over time. Another natural way of soothing an initial burn is using a banana peel. Now we may have remembered the banana peel tip that I have given before and I actually mentioned this. The banana peel actually 
it has antifungal and antibacterial properties. It also has soothing properties that are going to help reduce any inflammation. And what you're going to do is take the banana peel, place it onto your burn nice and securely, and you will notice that it's going to reduce the pain and soothe the burn. The last natural product that I have for you is vitamin E oil. And this is not to be used initially right after your burn, because remember, oils increase the temperature. You want to use this as your burn starts to settle to help heal it and prevent scarring over time. So if you have tablets, you just break them over open with a little pin, and then you place them onto your burn. Or if you have the natural oil, you can just put the oil on it as well. And that is my whole tip. So I hope that you liked it, and I hope that you don't get burned anytime soon. But you know, if you do, you have this tip to come back to. Just watch out for those barbecues this summer, because those are pretty dangerous. And make sure that you like this video, comment down below, and make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Hello, and I'll see you guys next Monday for another great tip, and I'll be burn free by then. Bye!